So we started this discussion, Mike, by talking yeah. about the miracles of exercise. Right? Correct. We went through all of these things that exercise yep. is doing physiologically and how the net impact of these things is so profound Correct. on the length of your life and the quality of your life. There's no shortage of pharma companies out there that are trying to understand yeah. how can those benefits be put into a pill. Exercise pill, sure. Exactly. What is your level of optimism around the idea that some right. of the benefits of exercise could be uh, basically captured by a pharmaceutical strategy? So, so there's a couple things there, Peter. One is is the efforts for sort of, sort of exercise memetics so far have been primarily things that increase mitochondrial biosynthesis. So, uh, and that appears like it, it it at least works in animal models. And and then you always how do you translate it from one to the next? Mm -hmm. But as I pointed out, exercise sure it makes your mitochondria better or makes more of them, but making your mitochondria better isn't going to make your autonomic nervous system better, isn't going to make your blood pressure better, isn't going to um, necessarily make the lining of your blood vessels better, so on and so forth. So it's not going to make your heart bigger, so on and so forth. So I think at least so far, at least so far, um, you know, these have been sort of one trick ponies. And, and, and while you might be able to get some benefits for people that, that are, you know, wheelchair bound or whatever, Although even those folks, I mean, people that are quadriplegics, let's put it that way, not even wheelchair bound, uh, or, 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 you know, can't exercise for some other reason, that may be helpful. I think the jury is really still out. And, and I, so I, th I think that I'm not particularly enthusiastic about it. I don't think you're ever going to get one that does any more than a little bit. Mm -hmm. I think more interestingly, I like to tell people, you know, at some level, there's already an exercise mimetic out there. It's called the poly pill. If, if you look at the data on people who get a combination, one pill a day of, of low-dose statins, low-dose blood pressure meds, and maybe one or two other, other components, it, it causes you know, pretty nice reductions in risk factors in most people. Uh, because, because the um, doses are low, the side effects tend to be low, and so forth. And, and, but again, none of this is patentable. You know, there's no there's no market for it, but but if 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 people don't want to exercise, can't exercise, or whatever, you know, I think a, a, a you know a better choice than trying to find some mythical exercise mimetic is to to use a, a poly pill, which would do the same thing. You give them a statin, their cholesterol goes down, man. Maybe their endothelial function gets better. You you do a tiny bit of metformin, maybe their glucose tolerance gets better. You do a bit of beta blockers, their heart rate is lower, that sort of thing. So I, so I, and again, I'm not advocating this, but but there's all sorts of data out there that that you know a poly pill uh, is it would be a a early data and speculation and modeling suggesting a poly pill is a quote legitimate unquote whatever that means you know potential public health strategy for lifestyle diseases. I would encourage people to exercise and 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 do the sorts of things you're talking about. But I think polypills have been understudied. 